Oots a witch. That's Kachikel Mayan. Oots a witch. Mayan people, I mean, everybody's beautiful and they're so beautiful. Shout out to the Guatemalan Mayans, the Kachikels. Yep, taking that deep breath. Taking that pause with me as I go over what I see as the basics. I'm just going to list them. Number one, this is the way of nature. So environmental education is about direct experience and personal responsibility. We're letting the earth teach us. We're letting the earth teach us peace, contentment, joy. Number two, we continue to put our focus on the here and now, our attention, our, our superpower of attention. And um, the mind is always wandering and going off in a million directions. So we take our power back and we see this moment as fresh and new and perfect. There's no moment like now. And um, for all you creative folks out there, which is basically everybody, um, the present moment is the platform for creativity. Number three, We're together remembering our original instructions. The current society we live in is not some apex on the top of a, of a hierarchical pyramid of superiority that this is the best there ever was. There are certainly some wonderful things about so-called modern civilization, but we have terrific incredible, wise teachings from our ancestors. Yes, all the way back to hunter-gatherers. Um, very wise, very intelligent, very beautiful. And it's about living in gratitude and living in beauty. Number four, we're not doing this by ourselves. We're not isolated islands we're not you know there's a you know there's a whole thing about rugged individualism especially in the u.s of a we're just gonna power through everything ourselves and it's like no we're returning to the circle yeah the circle of um dancing number five <laughs> dancing, singing, making art and music as a, as a revolution. This is the revolution of joy and love. And, you know, I hope this resonates somewhere for you that why do we uh, set our, our sights so low? Why not live like that again? Yeah, I, I, w I would suggest that we have lived that way and we can live that way again. I mean, en masse. And number six, I was talking about our power of attention and focus before. It's easy to focus on uh, the negative and negative news events. And as I said back in my nukes and evolution video, when we know what we don't want, we can put our sights, our dreaming power on, um, on thriving, on thriving individually and collectively. It's so easy to, to kind of go off and uh, talk extensively about each one of these, but I want to get this list down. So seven is that 
you know, no, nobody else is a thinker in our minds, so nobody else is a feeler of our feelings. Uh, and so we do our inner work to not let the trauma we've all experienced um, run us, uh, to not be on automatic pilot, to learn self-awareness, uh, to learn self-acceptance. Um, and, you know, it just makes the circle so much more beautiful. Um, the more self-aware we are, the more healed we are, the more we have to offer the circle. We're not any better than anybody else. It's just that we're not, yeah, we're, we're not uh, anchored to the past. Anchor is not the word. I meant like a ball and chain. We're free. We're so much freer. We're not living in the past. We're living here and now. Thanks for listening.